Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to discuss about the different parts used in a moving coil instrument as well as moving iron instruments. Okay, so here in order to demonstrate, uh, I have been considered a moving coil voltmeter, and you can see here a bar is there. Okay, a bar is there means this is going to measure only DC quantity, and whenever there is no bar or the symbol will be represented and sinusoidal waveform, which says that this is going to measure the AC quantity. Okay, now coming to the parts, so you can see the same parts what we have here. So inside the meter, and the major difference what you can observe here in these two meters is this scale is uniformly distributed. Okay, so 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and up to 150, the scale is uniform. Uniformly distributed in the case of an uh, DC measuring instrument, which is nothing but moving coil instrument. In the case of an AC measuring instruments, uh, so 0 to 1.5 ampere, it is more clumsy in nature. So, more you can see here, more divisions are there, which is a non linear scale. This completely is a non linear scale, and here also from 4.5 to 5, it is also non uniformly distributed. Therefore, moving iron instruments are called non-linear instruments now coming to the construction here you can see the parts what we have inside okay so coming to the construction so the construction is uh, similar okay so here you can have the two parts so our moving coil instrument has two parts one is nothing but uh, field winding okay so this is nothing but uh, the field winding or permanent magnet uh, and next one is nothing but uh, armature okay so coming to the construction this construction is similar to that of an dc motor so actually our dc motor will have a field winding so let us assume that this is our stator which is nothing but field winding and we are going to have the rotor which is nothing but uh, the armature now i am bringing this field winding to the center and i am placing my armature at the outside okay so this is armature and this is nothing but field winding the same you can observe here also okay so at the center so here you can see here at the center we have a uh, permanent magnet which will act as an field winding and the outside one will act as an armature okay so as soon as uh, here we will give the supply so the parts i am showing so at the bottom we will give the supply and at the output is connected to the port so this is input and this is the output where we are going to collect okay so now as soon as you give the supply it's nothing but this uh, armature is nothing but a current carrying conductor is placed in a magnetic field as per the faraday's first law of electromagnetic induction automatically as soon as you give the supply it will try to rotate so as soon as it rotates 